Hi guys, Natasha with the Death Ethel vlog. All right, now we have the conclusion to this Rebel King. You know, we read The King's Maker, which you have to read before you get to the Rebel King. And this is a duet. Kennedy Ryan left me in kind of an emotional good mess. Like it was a beautiful conclusion to this story. And I didn't think I was like, you know what? It's New Year. It's the New Year's Eve, I'm not gonna read, I'm gonna go spend some time with the family. Well, my girls wanted to do something on their own. They went and colored and they did their own thing. So I sat down and I finished The Rebel King and I laughed, I cried, I was just in awe of the writing because it really hits on so many levels. You know, you have the compassion for somebody that, you know, has a different culture and someone that was raised with a silver spoon in their mouth. And then somebody that is fighting for what is right in the world. This is Lennox and this is Maximum's story. And let me tell you, Maxim and Lennox have a story that is, it's beautiful. And, and he says it, there's two things he says that I am just like, I want this man in my life. He says, you signed up for me. I say wanting to shout, but keeping my voice low. And I signed up for you, whatever that means, wherever it takes. And he says, the girl who chases stars landed on the moon, planted her flag, and I've been hers ever since. And that's the story of these two. You know, they met, you know, in Kingsmaker, you find out they met, you know, at a, at a rally and they're fighting for what is right. And he's kind of the opposite guy on the tracks, you know, his dad is not who she supports and she's constantly fighting him but then there's maxim and maximum has been like doing what is right for the earth and for what he feels is what we need for our soul and you you want to root for him but then he starts healing some stuff he heals his relationship with his brother owen and his brother owen kind of you know pushes him along to you know do what's right what's in his heart and what's in his heart is his time with lennox and you know in book one it ended in a cliffy and you don't know what's going to happen to lennox and wallace her best friend and in the story in book two you get the rest of the story and you're heartbroken and you're crestfallen and you're like this can't happen and then things are going on the right path again and something tragically happens again and you wonder are these two ever going to get to the end and they're going to get their happy ending and everything is done right well it is a romance story you know and you can have those ups and downs but it's in those times that you you really see how strong lennox is and how strong she always stays to her values. Yes, yeah, she's passionately in love with Maxim, but she also knows what makes her soul whole. And it's, you know, the times that she's out in the morning and she's listening to the spirits that you feel her, you feel her presence and you feel her, her goal in mind. But then there's those times when she's with Maxim that you just, you, you want more of him and you crave more because this guy gets it. Yes, he was born with that silver spoon, but he gets the passionate that he has for Lennox. And she, he says it, she is, she's winter sunshine, bright and warm on the coldest day of my life. I'll huddle into her softness. And, and that's it, like she brings so much light to his soul. And he says, you once told me it's the dreamers who change the world the most, that something about the present wasn't good enough, so they made the future. Lennox knows that Maximum can do so good for the world and good for the, in this story. And she sees it. What was happened, the dreamers, they dream. If it wasn't for the dreamers, we wouldn't be where we're at today. And she tells him that and he takes that and he fights for it. He fights for the truth and he fights for what is right. And that is just what's so beautiful about this Rebel King is that you get all the sides of the coin and you get to choose the love that you want. It doesn't matter where you are at and where you're from. You get to write your history. You get to write your future. And that's what I really love about this whole duet series. Kennedy Ryan hit it out of the park. And you can feel the passion she took and the history she took to this. I grew up with cousins that grew up on Indian reservations and they still do what she's doing here in this story. 
It's very truthful in some of the aspects that she wrote. So I applaud you for that. Guys, go get book one and get book two and fall in love with Maxim and Lennox. Talk to you later. Bye.